Do you know the Arabic language? I can't speak it, but I can read it. You can speak, but you can read it. Do you understand it a little bit or no? Some of it. Some of it? Okay, so you read the Holy Quran, right? Yeah. So which sect of Islam are you from? There's no sect. There's so many sects. No, no. If you believe in sect, it's a shirk. Okay, so the verse you're quoting of the Holy Quran, it says that the... Allah the Almighty revealed to the Prophet وسلم, that tell the Muslims who divide into sects that you have nothing to do with them. This is the verse of the Holy Quran. But you're saying there are no sects when the Prophet وسلم, prophesied that in the end times there would be 73 sects of Islam. All of them yeah, would I be in hell. In Hanifi and Hanbali. So you Hanifi. are so you do follow so, something, right? Hanifi, yeah. So I which believe. Hanifi? But not <laughs> but not yeah. Sunni Shia. So are you Hanafi Barelvi or Hanafi Diobandi? That's another question, right? Because Barelvi said they're Hanafi, Diobandis also said they're Hanafi. So which Hanafi are you? You're not sure? Okay, so I just uh, know my last name is from the descendants of the Prophet. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. But Sayyid. you're Sunni or Shia? Do you believe in Hazrat Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu or no? Yeah. That he was truthful and righteous. Yeah. Okay, so now I'll explain what Islam Ahmadiyya is to you, okay? So we, both of us believe Allah is one. Holy Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa is the seal of all prophets. He's the greatest prophet. He's the last law-bearing prophet, right? Yeah. But the difference is that you believe that Hazrat Isa Islam is physically alive with his body in the skies yeah, and he will physically come back yeah. from the skies now the question to you is is this belief in the quran or a hadith anywhere uh, <laughs> you read the quran yeah. right have you ever read the quran where it said like and, meaning with it, yeah. and jesus is alive in the heavens with his body yeah, sure. where does it say this it's nowhere in the quran no, like it says that he didn't got crucified. Yeah, so he's was, in the heaven. It doesn't say he's in the heavens though, with his body, with his earthly body. Look, you said it says he wasn't crucified, right? Yeah. Was Hazrat Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam crucified? No. Is he with his body in the heavens, or is he buried in Medina? He's uh, he's in Medina. So how can you say Hazrat Isa is alive then, if the Quran says he wasn't crucified? It doesn't, if someone isn't crucified, it doesn't mean they're alive in the skies with their body. Allah says in the Holy Quran, وَمَا مُحَمَّدٌ إِلَّا رَسُولٌ قَدْ خَلَتْ مِنْ قَبْلِهِ الرُّسُولٌ That Hazrat Muhammad وسلم, is only a messenger. All messengers before him have already passed away. So is Hazrat Isa a messenger or no? It's a messenger, yeah. So is he before Hazrat Muhammad وسلم? Yeah. Quran says all messengers before Rasulullah have passed away. You're saying he's alive in the heavens. So who's right, the Quran or you? I don't know, it sounds like that. I don't know if that's true, but because so he's it's no returning way in back, Quran. Right? So this is the thing. Okay. He's returning back. Okay, so Hazrat Isa is returning, right? He's yeah. going to come from the skies. Let's say he comes today. Yeah. Will he see this church right there? There's a church right there and a church right there. So will he see these churches if yeah, he, he comes will. back? He will, yeah. right? Will he know that he was being worshipped when he comes back? Yeah. Of course he will, right? There's a church here, a church there, a mosque here. So you're saying he won't know about the shirk then. But in the Holy Quran, in chapter 5... he's going to come and gonna break the... Yes, so he's going to see these churches, right? He's going to break the cross. Yeah, and he's going to see these churches. Yeah. Breaking the cross means... He's going to break the ideology of Christians, right? Yeah. So now you agree that he will see these churches. But in the Holy Quran, in chapter 5, verse 117, right? It says that on Yawm Al-Qiyamah, Allah will ask Hazrat Isa 
Did you say to the people to worship you and your mother as gods besides Allah? Hazrat Isa was say, Subhanaka, holy are you. Then he will say, Ma kultu lahum illa ma amartani bihi an ibudullah rabbi wa rabbakum. That I only told them, I did not say anything to them except what you commanded me, that worship my Lord and your Lord. Wa kuntu alayhim shahidam ma dumtu fihim. And I was a witness over them as long as I remained among them. فَلَمَّا تَوَفَيْتَنِي كُنْتَانْ تَرَكِيبَ عَلَيْهِمْ But when you caused me to die, only you know what happened to them. So the question is, on day of judgment, why doesn't he know he was worshipped? And if he's going to come back before that, how do you explain that? I don't know, I heard something like that, like a reference. So this is the problem, you've heard it. So the answer is that the prophecies of the Latter-day Messiah refer to someone from this ummah someone from this ummah who resembles Isa Lassam of Bani Israel not the same Hazrat Isa Lassam of 2000 years ago who has already died and will never return and we believe he is that man who fulfilled all signs of the latter day messiah so that's the message of Islam Ahmadiyya brother you should check out the flyer do your research I have seen this guy like uh, you know you know, Farid responds. Yes, exactly. She talked about him. So did you ever research what Farid said? I responded to Farid and he had no answers to me. I responded to his videos. He just lied about us. He didn't, you know, give the right information. He made up no, things. Like he made a prophecy about soccer. Yeah. But the uh, other prophecy he failed. That was Farid's prophecy, the soccer one. Farid made that prophecy as a joke. To mock him, God forbid. And then when I debated Fareed, so check out my debate with Fareed, okay? Write Fareed Ahmed the answers, debate. Watch that and you'll see he had no response, okay? And then pray to Allah, ask Allah who was right, Fareed or me? Okay, can you ask Allah that? <laughs> yeah? Ask Allah that, okay? That's when you do istikhara. Yeah, do istikhara and ask Allah because Fareed deceives. Muslims, when it comes to Islam, Ahmadiyya, he didn't give the right information about us. And when I quoted Quran on him, you had no answers. So check it out, okay, brother? I don't know. He gave you the verse that Wama Muhammadun illa Rasul, and Muhammad وسلم, is nothing except a messenger. Qad khalat min rusul. All messengers before him have died. You agreed that Hazrat Isa Lassam is a messenger. All messengers before Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam have already died. So Isa Lassam has also died. You think he's alive. Now where is his body then? If he's his dead? body is in a grave. No. What? No, because I heard his body went up also. Everything went up physically. You so heard, right? But yeah. look. Where is Allah? In the heavens. Only in the heavens or on earth as well? He can come to the earth as well. So Allah physically comes to the earth? So he has a body? No. So how can, when he's in the heaven, is he also in the earth? I heard Allah can go inside of our hearts too. Okay, Allah says in the Holy Quran that he's close to us than our jugular vein. But that doesn't mean he physically enters our heart. Because Allah is it doesn't have a body right Allah says in chapter 6 verse 4 that he is in the heavens and the earth meaning that Allah is mawjood he exists without a location he is not confined to a location Allah says in the Quran he raised Isa Lassam to himself right now if Allah is not confined to a location you're saying he physically raised Isa Lassam to himself meaning that Isa Lassam is also now in the heavens and the earth and he's free of any location. That is shirk, brother. No, I didn't say that. Okay, so what does it mean that Allah raised him to himself? You know in namaz we pray that warfani, O oh Allah, raise me. And it says in Arabic dictionaries that fi asma'i lahi ta'ala among the names of Allah is ar-rafi, the raiser, Allah the yarfal mu'mineen bil is'ad he raises the believers with happiness. To go inside the mosque and 
say this all to you them. can call them people. we're waiting here <laughs> if you have not yet subscribed make sure to subscribe and click on the bell icon so you can get notifications for every new video also make sure to like and comment on the video and follow on twitter and instagram <laughs>